My name is Abdulaziz Suleiman. I am the spokesperson of the Coalition of Northern Groups, CNG for short. What we are saying is, I think we have to take it uh, in the context in which we, we placed it. Uh, there was this process for a constitution review going on. Then we discovered that uh, by our reasoning, it is going to be fruitless, futile for a country, a national assembly, to go ahead with the review of a constitution that is in the first place disputed in total. Secondly, there are certain sections of the country that have been uh, that have been agitating for self-determination, which ought to have been uh, settled first. Because I don't think uh, it's going to be proper to have a constitution. That's why we, we, we all have not agreed with the constitution, because a, a large section of the country does not even believe it's Nigeria. You see, for 60 years, uh, the, the South or the Igbo have been agitating for self-determination. It even led to a civil war, which we blamed the Nigerian government at that time for, because there was no point uh, fighting the Igbo back. They said they were ready to go. I think what will have uh, happened was, was, was to celebrate uh, a new nation. By now, the Igbo country, the Biafra, would have progressed far, far, and perhaps the remaining part of Nigeria would have progressed. Now, what we have is the Southwest now also uh, agitating for self-determination. The Southeast is also agitating for determination, for self-determination, but the National Assembly is deliberately avoiding that issue and going ahead with, 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 with a constitutional review that will still not solve the problem. That's why we, we filed a suit before the Federal High Court in Abuja. Uh, we joined the uh, uh, National Assembly, the Attorney General, and uh, uh, separately the uh, Senate President and the Speaker of the House of Representatives. What we are praying for is for the court to order a halt of the constitutional review exercise and direct the National Assembly to, uh, to, to, to organize or, or, or get the, president, uh, the, the executive or even the international community to come in and organize what we want to uh, look, what, what should be a referendum peacefully for any unit of the country that says it does not want to be Nigeria. I mean, there's no point forcing it uh, into being something it does not want to be. And uh, not only, we, did not, we were not only concerned about Biafra, we said any unit, because you see this issue of Nigeria, uh, for quite long now, the truth has emerged that nobody was uh, co consulted, even, even before the name was given. Uh, you can see most African countries have even have even uh, dropped the names given by by the colonial masters and adopted their native names. So I don't think uh, we 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 reason that why can't we do the same in Nigeria? Let us see it. If all of us agree to be Nigeria, then we agree we are Nigerians. We agree we want to uh, continue with that name Nigeria. If not, we change the name. I mean, we are people. We are people. We don't have to be forced to 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 to, to do things. So that's just just what we are saying. So, but we're not asking anybody to go. We are saying in order to get to the root of this thing, let's have a referendum. Perhaps the, the North will even vote out. Uh, we, then we we'll call it quits. That's what we're saying. We're not saying we're not particular. We only referred to Biafra because it's been the one that has taken too long and uh, recently becoming violent, which means the, 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 the desperation is there. And we, we, you, you and I know that no amount of review of the constitution can change that. It's not a question of northern elites supporting what we have said. Well, for one, we have a right to do that, which is what we are exercising. We don't need the consent of the northern elite or any northern leader. Just the way the IPOP does not need the consent of uh, the southeastern elite in order to, to, to agitate for, for self-determination. And what, but what we are saying is this, uh, like uh, if you see even the Southeast, 
the elite and the leaders, especially the governors, uh, opposing IPOB. But we do believe that IPOB has a majority in that zone. Likewise, if you come here, the, the few elite uh, may oppose us because they want the continuation of these problems. They don't want, they don't want it to, 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 to be resolved. Uh, but you find that we would be in, we will, we will carry the majority when it comes to voting. Uh, the majority thinking uh, to, we, have to, we have to leave the path of these old people who have caused the civil war, who still are insisting on mon mon uh, monopolizing the, the total available activity in Nigeria, that they would not want us to discuss this issue of unity. I mean, there is nothing wrong in discussing it. If you, Abdaziz and Uchi, agree to, 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 to remain in, in, in Niger State, for instance, and call ourselves, that's our country, why not? But if Uche says, no, I don't want to be, uh, I don't want this unity. I want to, I want my Ebony uh, nation. I mean, that's nothing wrong. But if I insist that you must remain with me, I mean, there is something suspicious there. So it's not a question of elite uh, consensus. It's a question of public concern. That is why we are asking for the referendum. That's why we're asking for, for the referendum, because that is, you see, it's just like uh, what we argued with uh, some of the Igbo leaders, I think on, was it BBC, uh, and Igwe, we debated. He said, those, uh, the IPO people are, are very few, but I said, no, that is why we want this referendum. Go to the Southeast and vote against uh, Biafra, and you will see they will, they will, they, they, they will over, 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 over you. Because the ordinary people in Nigeria, from whatever section, are dissatisfied. So you find that the elite is going to be... Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm sure, I'm confident the bulk, the vast majority of, uh, of the people of the North would support that. I think the, it is, is a new thinking, imagine from the North, uh, a new way of thinking. You see, uh, all along, our elders from, every, uh, from each of the zones have been covering up uh, some things. Like, you know, what prompted us really was when uh, the President Muhammad Buhari said in a speech that those who are agitating for Biafra have not witnessed the civil war. So that is what we want to avoid because these people are in the majority. All of them are within the ranks of uh, the, 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 the bracket of 50 years. So they have not witnessed the civil war so they can go to any extent in order to break away. And these old people will die and leave us with them. So uh, that's what we want. We want them to leave us in a peaceful country, whether as Nigeria or as Nigeria and Zaria or whatever. Play diplomatically. Not so strong. There is the only challenge. You see, we cannot foresee any challenge now because we've already taken the legal option. It's left for the court now to listen to our argument and listen to the argument on the other side. We cannot. Uh, predict what will happen. But we are prepared to go the whole length to, to the apex court, and if needs be, to the uh, international uh, forum. Because we need to at least let us talk to ourselves. The younger generation should talk to themselves. Look, we don't, we are telling you the truth. We don't want Nigeria. Fine, brothers, uh, we, we wish you well. You understand? No, we are just fighting uh, so something. Okay, what country do you want now? L we, we, let's call it uh, Asokoro. You understand? So we change our name to Asokoro because we are the people we name ourselves. We call it Asokoro and we agree to now give ourselves a constitution. We give ourselves laws. But this way, the way we are going, you find that uh, some people, the young generation, are venting their anger on the wrong people. Because if Uche attacks me now, he's venting his anger on, on the wrong person because I'm also angry. 
And that is what these people want. The people that have been manipul manipulating the affairs, they want me and you to fight. They don't want to see us live together. But we can agree. Look, okay, now that we have agreed to work against these uh, manipulators, let us have a country. What country do we have? Do we want? We want this, this, this country. Now, okay, let's give ourselves a law. These laws have all along been handed over to us either by colonial masters or by the military. And that is what we are saying we want to waste money and we want to waste resources and energy in reviewing. So we are saying you can't give a law to a people that are not agreed to one. You have to have a nation. That was our argument on uh, the issue of restructuring. We say it's not about restructuring. It is getting the, the structure first. Let us get a structure, a standard structure. Then we can restructure if we want. There may not even be need for restructuring if we have. Because I'm telling you, since independence, since even the amalgamation, none of the regions have agreed to the one. I'm telling you. It's just cover up. We have never trusted ourselves. You see, this, this is why you can see for more than 60 years now, we are unable to produce a Nigerian president. It's always either a northern president. Now the, they are looking for Ibu president. <laughs> you understand? The Yoruba is looking for a Yoruba president. Why can't we have a Nigerian president? Because we are not Nigerian. It's because we are not Nigerian. That's why we are not agitating for a Nigerian president. We don't believe in anything. It's a new generation thinking these people, we all know that we have a, uh, a class of people that have manipulated uh, the total available activity in the country. Uh, even before independence, these people have been rotating power in, in, in various forms among themselves and their families, uh, uh, which certainly is because this, 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 is, this is going to be a meeting point, a, com a point of convergence that look, we are quite sure the young people in the Southeast, the vast majority of them are in support of Biafra. And I assure you, the vast majority of young Northerners are in support of that referendum so that we can define what Nigeria really is. So you can see it's uh, some form of uh, uh, let down uh, on the part of the elite. You see, when you, when you talk about elite, if you say Northern elite, uh, I, I, it, it, uh, it surprises me because the northern elite and the southern elite are one and the same thing. The southern elite and the northern elite are one and the same thing. They only come to tell me they are protecting north because they don't want me to listen to you. And your own elite will tell you they are, these northerners are, 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 are cheating us because they don't want you to listen to me. But we don't see eye to eye with our own elite, just the way you don't see eye to eye with, your, with yours. You see, the, the degree of mistrust has gone deep. You can see this, uh, like, a, you know, now that you've spoken to me, you do understand that I, I don't have any ill agenda. It's something about a nationhood and about me and you surviving. But some people will still insist that we are, we are, we, we are pursuing something against them. You, do you understand? Somebody who says, oh, my friend, you want to go, please let us escort you peacefully. And you say, no, 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 I mean something else. That is the degree of trust implanted in us by those same elites we are talking about, which we have to... Uh